Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode... Oh my... Wow, what the heck? <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit of a... Of a jump in uh, frame rate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Awful beginning here. In the last episode, we... Defeated the Burrowers at Camp Harthor and learned a little bit about the Rat Hound King. We didn't take the quest, so we actually have to go back there and talk to that gentleman again, Edgar, in order to uh, acquire it. But I'm going to delay starting on the Rat Hound King until we do a little bit of exploring around normal Underrail first. I would like to defeat another group of lunatics and then possibly kill some more Burrowers. So that's going to be on the schedule the syllabus today in any case we were successful and we got a shotgun that we can sell for a decent amount of money I suspect and we're gonna see what we can sell it for here in Southgate station but first we're also here to turn in a few quests so oh and we should look at our character which I didn't which I don't think I did at the beginning of the last episode so stats as you can see, once again, we are not a min-max character. We put a little bit into various things to help us out a bit. Nothing was lowered at all. We're not we're not straightly struggling, and that's because we took psionics, which is which pulls a great deal of weight uh, in hard mode, in any mode actually. Our skills pretty boring. That's was going to be, I think, still boring. Five points and everything again. And our feats, which is Nimble, Paranoia, Sprint, Tranquility, Escape Artist, Pyromaniac, Exposed Weakness, Premeditation, and Psy Empathy. Let's get going. Hey, Harold. Oh, what's up? About that battery recycling plant. Ah, yes. Yes, you'll love this. Here's a blueprint that contains something about optoelectric nuclear batteries. I think you'll find it useful. Harold's eyebrows shoot up at the mere sight of the thing you brought him. Wow, what a lucky find. Great, let me take a look at it. He starts to drive into his portable computer and takes a look at it. Hmm. I was hoping for some info on how to make our own battery, but this has got information on how to revive dead ones. Oh, this is nearly as good. Huh, never knew you could do that with a photovoltaic voltaic cell. Oh, I'm glad you're happy. As I promised, here's your reward. It gives you 300 Southgate Station credits. See you around, Tim. Oh, not quite yet. I have some stuff to sell to you, Harold. We also uh, off-screen in the last episode. Well, I guess then not in the last episode. Oh, acquired a few things. I think I sold Harold actually off-screen all the some of the bits we got from the recycling plant. Let's go over here and sell some of the shield bits now to Ezra. That's right. Harold seems pleased with that battery data you gave him. He nods. Very good. You have anything to trade, Ezra? Let's see. And he'll buy these two things. We'll get some more Southgate Station credits. I don't really care what they are at the moment. It'll be a long, long time until I'm able to make laser weaponry or what have you, and we'll find better components to craft those with. So, just going to sell the components at the moment. Uh, where else are we going, Tim? Oh, we have quite a few poison glands. Arguably, I should take these with me and go to... These are a pound each. That's 14 pounds. But we're not quite at half our weight, so we can do, we can do a little bit of exploring. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to our private quarters and drop them off there. I do like traveling light, if possible. Ever since the original Quest for Glory, back in the 80s, I try to make sure I don't bring a million things with me when I'm out and about. Because encumbrance is awful. You definitely don't want to be weighed down. Oh, 
Okay, and that brings us back to 64. So... Where are we going, Tim? That's a good question. Let's... You know what? I think we go back to Core City. If I'm going to do that, then I should actually take a few things with me. And then we'll explore some more areas around Core City. We might be too low level for it, but we'll give it a try. Right, we're going to bring all of the intestines we have found so far with us, apparently. And nothing else, because we can't carry anything else. We'll drop some of this stuff. Actually, we'll drop all the stuff we're carrying that we don't want on us into our stash. Oh, and we're going to want some food, so let's eat. Burger, burger. Oh, you know what we could do? We could explore all the burger area. Oh, I said I wanted to fight the lunatics. Right. There'll be lower level lunatic. Well, it's too. I, I'm bringing some intestines with me, so we're gonna we're gonna divert. Let's go to Core City, Savannah. Twenty charons is cheaper than taking the train. Drop this stuff off. See if Oscar has reset his inventory and maybe sell him the shotgun. And then we'll head on out and try to see if we can. Explore more of the areas around Core City. I can think of one area where we could get, once again, a chance for some decent armor. We could fight the group of Iron Heads, which are in the tunnel by those rat hounds we defeated just outside Southgate Station. Because we can zone them, so it won't be too difficult, although it will be very time consuming. Hey, Halim. Show me what you have. They have not yet reset their inventory. So, let's sell him the shield. And with that, let's see. We can probably get an advanced electric repair kit. And 48 more bucks. We can use that repair kit on the laser, right, laser pistol. We can sell this for more money than it cost us to buy that repair kit. All his money exactly for it. Perfect. I like clearing out the merchants of their cash if possible. Tougher to do without mercantile. But we're managing it. Oh, can we maybe pick your pocket now, Alphabet? Can. We'll take all 16 hearts and then we'll do the alphabet walk over to a barrel. I think it's this one. Nope. This one. Watch how fast alphabet now walks. Yep. He's now no longer super encumbered because he was carrying 16 animal hearts on him. <laughs> okay. Does Oscar, has you, has Oscar beside his inventory? He is not, but he is buying one firearm. And I'm going to sell the shock steel combat knife as well. It is beneath us, and I would like the kukri, or kukri. That means we're going to go, well, we can make do with this knife for the time being until we get it, which we'll do maybe in the next episode. And I actually wouldn't mind having a recipe for a weapon of some sort, but not the minigun. Sniper rifle? Okay, we can take that one. And 138 credits. General Sword, were you selling a belt, by the way, Garcia? No. Okay. Oh, we should also always stop by Heidi. And actually, we should do this now, unless we use the cheat engine. 
we should start buying amples. Might as well start this process now. Because we're never going to have enough of them. Okay, so next up, let's leave Core City and see what trouble we can get into. If we can reach level 14 before the Rathound King, that would be handy. Since we don't have traps, we can't get about another one-fourth to actually maybe even half a level by disarming all the traps the Rathound King has out in front of his uh, abode. And lining his the maze that leads to it. But once again, we shouldn't need that experience points. It would just be handy to get it right now, but we can't do that. Uh, do you have any special food mode? I think we'll be okay. You know what I should do? Well, let's Let's do some fighting first, but we should go to Rail Crossing. Because Rail Crossing has Deacon's Shop, and that will let me buy Tabby Boots, which are dangerous for us to have. There'll be quite a few instant deaths on our part when something crits us uh, and immediately ends us. But that would give us more movement get rid of our armor penalty altogether. We benefit from Nimble a, a little more. Maybe we do that now? I think I have the perception to find it. We'll come, we'll come back for that. There's a battle right around the corner I want to do first. No, several corners, actually. And then we'll be using corners, because we're going to try to stick it out there, but this, oh, it's against lunatics, so it's going to be pretty gruesome. We're going to give it a try. Basically, if any psionic ability hits us, we're doomed. <laughs> That's what happens. It seems to be the case on hard mode. All right, so this is the spot. They're on the other side of this wall, if I recall correctly. But before we fight that group, Let's just get this on the map really quick. Having played Gabriel Angelos a long time ago, this area is used for a protectorate quest, if you decide you want to join them. I have not made up my mind what group I want to join, but I tend, if I'm going to join one of those groups, to join the free drones. I can't think of anything in particular they have. Okay, so, uh, th that they have that I would want from their shopkeeper, but the Protectorate does not have anything I'd be, I'd be interested in. All right, guys. Prepare for deaths. <laughs> Prepare for deaths. All right. Before we do this, I'm gonna try my pick line is secured. All right, I can't believe we're gonna try this. Let's do it. Hello! There's a new enemy here who is not normally here. And that's this psychopath. I think this one. So let's start by using our shield. Because if this grenade goes in the wrong spot, I'll be glad to not die. Very good. Decent damage. We did not set the freezer. Well, actually, we wouldn't set them on fire. We'll use pre-med in order to use uh, our fireball. Good. We set the one close to us on fire, but we haven't killed either of those other two yet. They will full heal. I don't think I can stop them unless I run up. The psychopath, this psychopath will slaughter us, as will the freezer, so we can't let either of them live. We can move here and try to fire bolt them, but that's, uh, sorry, power can extreme, but we have no action points if we do that, which means we're gonna need to use sprint. 
and we're going to need to use adrenaline for this if I want to have a chance to kill them right now. And the nuker will give us trouble, but we maybe we can throw a flashbang. Let's run up. All right, and we set them on fire. Very good. Can't throw the flashbang. We can slow down the psychopath, though. Because we're going to want to kill him. He should run around this way. Okay, we took those like a champ. We can heal. Move up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Three misses. It's pretty bad. We have to kill him this round. Good. That leaves one nuker left. Oh, we're set on fire. We are set on fire. Oh, God. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not afraid. But uh, this is not going to go so well for us. Because he's going to have another grenade on him. He's also slightly to the side. Well, I'd rather know that he resisted it now than later. Let's run around the corner. I don't know how we're actually killing this guy. I don't think we can. I don't think we're killing this guy. I think we have to run, but I can't run. If I use morphine, we're also dead, so we just have to hope... We can kill him, and we can't. Wow. Throws it at his feet. That's a very... That's a very player thing to do. All right. So, we have to run, is what we have to do from the nuker, and recover after we take the hits that he does. Or we have to use morphine. I don't, okay. Well, let's, let's do this again. Hopefully this lands in the, in the right spot. It did, but this time it didn't kill anybody. We're also, we also have to hope that we set this psychopath on fire. We did. We have to kill the freezer, or we're doomed, or we have to somehow incapacitate him. We'll try changing it up, and we'll throw a flashbang. Wow! That's amazing. That went exactly where we needed it to go. We'll sprint here. Use adrenaline. Make sure he dies without us needing to worry about anything. And end the turn. We can probably kill this freezer now because he, we do have a 95% chance to hit. Let's use exposed weakness. Oh no. Okay, it, this is a lie. It's not 95%, but we're going to go ahead and stab him to death. And now we want to run away. Okay, that worked really well. We'll let the fatigue expire, and then we'll head on over there again, and we'll finish up that nuker. Wow. A single lunatic is too much for us. <laughs> at least the nuker was. Throwing MK3 grenades, which I think he has at, at his feet. All right, let's get back in there. So he will recover from his incapacitated, but not know where we are. So he's around this corner. Do you have any grenades or anything to throw? We do not. All right, then. Well, this is kind of the way I wanted it, wanted this to work out. Let's do it. Sprint around the corner. Unfortunately for us, he is immune to fire. So we can't use any of that to help us. 
He's probably not going to run either, is my guess. So I don't think dilation is going to help very much. But we'll go ahead and use it. He's wearing decent armor. He's not taking much damage. Let's use our shield right up next to him. Can't use a drug. I don't want to use adrenaline. Thankfully, our shield held up. Oh, he has a shield. That's why he's taking reduced damage. Let's use recurrence on that. I'd rather wait until we crit, but we might not crit. All right. I'm glad we did use the dilation on him. We're getting lucky with all these hits. Make no mistake. Very lucky. Coming for you. Taking a bunch of fire damage, though. And we did it! It wasn't so bad. Two tries. We recharge our shield. The only reason we did it was because of that shield. Or oh, this nuker would have just ended us. So, the importance of a shield cannot be overstated. Use a shield. Also, it was really handy that we had a grenade, even though we don't have throwing, to hit all of them, destroy the barrel. We got lucky that it landed exactly where I want it to land as well. Because otherwise we would have had to rely on Parkinesis to do that. And we wouldn't have killed all of them. Or maybe we would have, but we would have, would have had to use Parkinesis Extreme. We're going to take all the loot that they have and then dump it in a container of some sort. But I don't want to keep. They might have a weird headpiece on them. One of them. Where's the other psychopath? Oh, wait, hold on. Foot locker first. Bubblegum? Bubblegum. One point of the item. Where are you, psychopath? Corpse is here somewhere. Uh, I will find you. And look at how much experience we gained. Almost half a level. Effectively one, well, is that right? About one third of a level? We have about one fifth left. Now what do they have that I don't want? We don't need a net. Our throwing is miserable. We will take the grenade. So, psychopaths have biotechnician suits, which give them bioresistance. We want one suit, but we don't need any more than that. They have a better knife. Okay. Yeah, 10 through 17 damage is... Uh, oh, well, this is the same. Hold on. 10% crit, 10% crit, 130, 130. It's exactly the same, but it's higher level. It's also heavily damaged, so we don't want this one. Eleven through eighteen, standard combat knife. Ten through eighteen, we'll just scrap this one. Level thirteen, twelve through twenty. This one is oh, but this one bleeds. The other one does not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just scrap it. I don't want to repair it. One of them had a level thirteen nine millimeter Luger. That's okay. We can probably sell it for some cash. 9 millimeter hammer laser sighted. That is worth some cash. Uh, it's not really worth keeping the Rathound leather overcoat, so we'll just put that in the barrel. What else do we have? A worse galvanic overcoat. Okay, I was hoping for something better on the freezer, but we did not get such. This was the group I wanted to kill as well for the, for armor. Okay. Darn it! <laughs> Oh, well. What are you going to do? Let's repair the spear. See the games we never have to do that again. And then... Where are we going, Tim? We can walk... To rail crossing, I suppose. 
junk pile with a syringe. We'll take that. Nothing like used syringes and junk piles that you want to take with you. <laughs> uh, did the score. Top. I like the bench. I remember a bench here before. I was right, I think, when I was doing the one-off videos in the summer that the phones were new because I don't remember them before. Once again, they're part of a, of a optional side quest. I've been tempted to look up that side quest because I I don't really want to do it otherwise. <laughs> God bless Cision Software and the quests that they have in this game. They really make you think. I really like them. They're, I really like them. I think they're I think they're great. But they're they're all tough, and some of them are too tough for me. Like what it takes to get the Sonocaster. I think that's what it's called. The uh, weirding weapon from basically from Doom that uses sound to attack enemies in the black uh, the Black Sea. Uh, let's see. We'll go this way. It requires you understanding music, and I, as a drummer, do not. <laughs> and I just don't have it in me to do it. Someone had written a program that would help you decode the puzzle correctly. You would just need to plug in all the various values first. We should live through this, and then we'll heal ourselves. Actually, we'll use this now. Okay, good stuck here okay we're stuck there if I wear this that's one perception there's several bear traps in this little area there's another one Yes, we have to get all the fog of war gone. There's another trap. It is my belief that traps work the same... Well, kind of work the same way as stealth enemies, but... Well, possibly work the same way. If you have the detection to... Well, detect them, then standing still is what you should do after a few moments, moments moving up. Because you're slowly scanning the area, and it's slowly becoming more visible to you. We just barely have it with the perception that, uh, with the paranoid feet and the six perception because we put on the adaptive goggles to detect some of the bear traps in this area. I think there's another down this hallway, but we couldn't see it. Well, we got a shield off of one of them. It is not, arguably not better than what I'm currently using. I like my medium shield, so we're going to keep that one. Okay, if we're going to do this, we should do it right now, because they're all together. So let's run up. I'm going to throw it. We're going to throw a normal grenade. Hurt them? Good. Hurt all of them. Okay, we did not set both on fire. So this other one's going to charge us. If it can reach us. Let's get a little more movement to get away. I think we're too far away for its charge. If we're not, we're dead. So let's just end the turn and see what it does. That was going to run. Okay, good. Now we can run up. Warhawks have pain suppression. Oh my goodness. How many hit points? Look at that smirk. <laughs> Look at that smirk that it has. We dare not move away because it will charge us and then we're just dead. So I want to move behind it so we get close to the other warthog. And I think we might still die, but we'll use our shield. If it crits us once we're doomed. Okay. That was not so bad. I don't know where it is, but it should still be running from us, the other one. There he 
is again. Uh, we can throw another fireball, so let's do that. And that's it. Good. All right. Not bad. And we've been regenerating. We handled that very well. Take some more creature bits. Check all this garbage. Oh, lock pick. We'll take a free lock pick. Made of metal, this one, which means we can break it. Nope, not made of metal. No, it is. It says mechanical. Oh, mechanical damage. But it's leather armor. We have no hacking, so we cannot hack the boxes. Looks, oh, we didn't search this pig. We take its heart. This one also requires hacking. Not getting into that, but I'm going to double check just to make sure I'm right. Okay, another big potentially instant death for us. That's the way. That's the way it works with every room. There's two iron heads over here, similar to the other two we killed. There's a bomber, I think, and a demolitioner, demolitionist. There's no dog here this time, and there's no mines around to help us out either, arguably. So, I think we're allowed to be here. Okay, save the game. Start combat. Activate the shield just in case. Actually, we shouldn't need the shield to start. Let's see if we set both or any of them on fire. Neither on fire. We crit one. We'll encourage him. 42 damage each turn. That's very nice. It's 160 something. Won't kill him, but he'll be hurting when he rounds the corner. I can distortion twice. To help me kill him. We could do it a third time? Sure. Okay. So we want to move up and attack the other one. We also don't want it running away, so let's get back some Psy. Now they might throw the grenades at their feet, so we're going to use a morphine. Just to play it safe. Give him a good whack. Ooh, that was a great hit. 68 damage. Didn't quite kill him. He did just heal. He's not going to be running away. So he's running away, but thanks to a dilation, he can't get away. All right, not bad. Arguably wasted that morphine, but I'd rather use it and not die than not use it and die. What do we get? Oh, MK2 grenades. Those are just trash. Can we get... I think this is a lock locker. We'll just, I'll just assume that. And we'll lock pick it. Burger Burger. Take one of those, except for the one we use. We don't want this. That's junk. Don't want the MK2 grenades. Oh, when did we get that? Uh, we there was a trance blueprint, probably on one of the lunatics that we found. Oh, and I forgot to read the sniper rifle blueprint too. Let's go ahead and read those now. What did the other guy have? MK3 grenades. Good. Once again, we don't have throwing, but we've been super lucky with where the with where those things have landed for the most part. We haven't won, we haven't accidentally thrown one at our feet yet. Nine millimeter Neil Luger extended magazine laser sighted. That's a wonderful weapon. That will sell for quite a bit. And we even have a fabric repair kit. We'll full repair our armor. Don't want you. We should full repair that Luger. It'll be worth quite a bit of cash. Uh, 
Okay, not bad. And we've cleared the path. Well, maybe cleared the path to rail crossing. That's where this train leads you to. I want to get the tunnel on the screen. Come on, bats. Where are the bats? Where are the bats? It'd be kind of, it'd be funny if there was like a flash, well no, you wouldn't want to flash on screen, but something on screen to try to make, uh, try to make the bats a jump scare. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to be. I think I jumped once when bats were out of some place. Okay. Um, I like the abilities I currently have equipped in my mind, so we'll go ahead and use a synodic inhalant. And we'll also go ahead and have a mushroom salad, because I think we need seven perception to see Deacon's store. When I said maybe clear the way to real crossing, this is what I meant. Because, or rather, I was hinting that there is a, or can be, a random encounter here. And it could be really nasty, but thankfully there is none here at the moment. Every fiber of my being wants to search this, <laughs> this corner. We're gonna do it. <laughs> I need, I need to get all the fog of war gone. I have to. I must, I must have all the fog of war gone. There we go. Nothing in that corner. Oh, someone had, uh, who I can't remember now. I, someone had left a comment on uh, the video two, two videos ago, uh, reminding me. Well, not reminding me, but because uh, I, I knew it was here. But another box, which doesn't show up on your hold down tab, which is on the next room south of here, next to a tunnel that leads down. I think there's Charons in that one, if I recall correctly. I, I never realized there was another one over there by the uh, Faceless, by Rail Crossing. Oops, and of course here too. Yes, that's building correctly. No, I don't care. I care a lot. I'm leaving it. All right, now you have to forgive me because I'm not going to talk to anybody here. I just want to go to Deacon's shop if I can find Deacon's shop. It requires an eight perception, and we can't do it until we complete whatchamacallit's quest. All right, the whole reason why I wanted five perception, because I think you need seven to find it, which you can get without without needing a five perception. You can lower that stat, but I am only aware. Is there a drug that gives you perception? Junkyard surprise, maybe gives you one random stat occasionally, but not intelligence. No, that doesn't help. It uh, doesn't help you because, oh no, that, and that's not a drug, that's a food. Mushroom salad's plus one perception, and goggles are plus one perception. Oh, marsh honey, doesn't that give you perception? But you'd have to wait until you can get over to the Black Sea and get marsh honey, which is going to be aggravating to get early game. And anyway, Deacons is important for me because it offers tabby boots for sale. Even garbage tabby boots will be useful. And here we are. But before we go ahead and talk with these folks, we are, of course, going to pick their pockets. An advanced health hypo. Thank you, Miss Bodyguard. If you break it, you buy it, or I break you. Fair enough. Woo! He has a security key card. A plasma pistol, a level 14 plasma pistol at that, but nothing special about it. 16 flipping fusion cells and 200 stitching coins. We'll take the coins from Deacon today. Ah, fresh face in town. Welcome to my little shop. I'm looking for Terry and Laura. No, they didn't. They didn't. Well, maybe they they've seen them, not the other way around. 
Have you seen merchants from Southgate Station? Terry, Terry and Laura Baker? No. Show me what you have for sale. All right. Do I have anything he's buying? Yes, I do. So we'll sell him the Galvanic Overcoat, which is half of his cash. He's selling Tabby Boots today. Let's see. I don't really care about stealth. Oh, and I also want those MK3 lockpicks. I don't care about stealth, so I'd rather have the heat resistance than, say, extra stealth by the Ninja Tabby Boots. The Anthic Thurbic give us 16 movements, so these are the same, except this gives us stealth, and this gives us heat resistance. It decreases our stealth, and both these increase our chance to be critically hit by 3%, which Paranoia counters. We could go for much cheaper Pig Leather Tabby Boots. Much cheaper? Is that the correct way to say it? Much less... Oh, it's not much less efficient, but it is less efficient. But it also would not increase our critical, hit, our critical chance as much. You know what? Actually, this also increases our constitution by one. You know, I'd rather have the pig tabby boots. Even though they're only level five, let's take them. And what's he selling? Lockpick blueprint plan. Tabby boots blueprint plan. I will eventually be making those. I'll, make, I'll take a lockpicks. And then... He's buying four firearms. One. Two. A little more cash. And that will do. Oh, or maybe we want the five lockpicks. Alright. Tabby boots. You're not buying normal boots, Deacon, are you? You are not. Alright then. Nice. And we should need the perception food anymore. There's nothing else I can think of that I would want. Well, later on in the game, we can walk around with a higher perception if we take marsh honey and try to find more secrets. We can get, what is that? It's two perception with marsh honey, isn't it? But it only lasts like, a, like 50 seconds, if I remember correctly. Let's assume it's one perception, not two, just for sanity, just for uh, calculation's sake. So, Marsh Honey's one. One for the goggles. One for the juice. One for... Mushroom salad, plus four. It gives us a nine. That's a good number of secrets found here, but not all of them. Well, in the early areas of... What is this game? Underrail. <laughs> all right. Have some canned meat, which is not very effective for us. And then we can put some garbage here. We don't need our old boots. We will lose one agility by not having these boots. That will be okay for the time being. Lockpicks, standing boots. Not that we'll be making them anytime soon. Okay, and we're leaving Rail Crossing. I don't want to do Rail Crossing. Well, actually, we could do Rail Crossing, but I want to do one more battle, and then we can call the session. I think we're playing for 40-something minutes, so we'll make this a little shorter of a one. We'll come back to Rail Crossing and talk with everyone later. I just, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do a lot of talking right now. I just want to do a lot of fighting, or some fight, or some more fighting. So... Oh man, Tim, you're gonna try this? You're gonna try this? I don't know if we're ready for the group I'm gonna fight, but we'll... No, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna fight lurkers yet. It's over here, if I recall correctly. There it is. You know what this reminds me of? Because you can see that barely it right here. Ultima 7, I think is what it was, which had a few very hidden, like, cabinets in it, which had amazing equipment in it, if you could actually, if you actually saw, uh, you knew where it was, and some of it required stacking barrels on top of each other in boxes, so you could reach them. That was a good game. I haven't, 
I haven't played that in a while. Be a fun one to play for the channel. Oh, well, anyway. We're going to walk this way. Sometimes there's an encounter that spawns right here, so we're lucky that none did. In so much that if it was a hostile encounter, we have we well, we can handle it. We have range capabilities. There's a group of lurkers on the other side of this. We I don't think we can handle them at the moment, so we'll come back for them. Unfortunately, we don't have hacking, so we can't get some death crawlers to help us. What a great little introduction to crawl. Well, not introduction, sorry. What a great little um, hint as to what you're about to fight if you decide you want to explore this area. Crawlers and death crawlers. I forget how many we found in that area when we did it with Garrett. Wasn't there something like six death crawlers? Six or seven death crawlers and three or four crawlers were in that area. Sorry, death stalkers, not death crawlers. We are not ready for them. And of course, there's the black crawler there, too. I know what you're thinking, Tim, you're not fighting anything. No, we're not fighting anything. We, we will fight some things soon. Very soon. Right now, we're just exploring these rooms, getting rid of all the fog of war. There's a barrel over here. There's nothing important in that barrel. But we'll search it. Some scrap. The mine's not worth picking up. You know, there are some dogs out here. How close are we to leveling up? Don't think we'll get it, but let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, wow, we were seen immediately, and we lost the initiative roll. Oh, my God, there's a lot of them. But they're all clustered together. Which means... We can set them one of them on fire, and we can also use Parkinese's stream. We actually don't need our shield. The dog's attacks are going to go through it anyway. Wasn't enough. Very close. We'll take their hearts and their dog tags. And as long as I'm here, we might as well explore this area really quick. Hacking. There's a tunnel here that leads down to a lurker held area. North has a group of iron heads that we could kill for the experience we need, but there's another group of iron heads I think we will stop by and fight. And this is locked. Oh, well, I don't think this will level us. Very close, though. It did! Hey! All right! Look at that. Metal boots, those aren't worth taking. Uh, it's tailoring to break them down, if I recall correctly. All right, guys, so I think we'll put a break here. Or rather, we'll, well, I had to put a break here if I want to level up, and I do. There's no reason not to level up when you level up in this, in this, in this game. You don't full heal. You might as well take those points immediately. I need to check, though, my build. So, let me put a small break here. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. This this isn't so bad. So, 
And by so bad, I mean this isn't so complicated. We're taking five points yet again to all of my abilities. I think dodge is done. It might have one more point, literally one point I put into it for rounding reasons later. But at the moment, I think that's all the five points I put in dodge. I think my lock picking also stops at... Oh, maybe it doesn't actually stop at 80. Maybe it stops at 90. Lock picking, I think, or pickpocket. Uh, lock picking stops at 81. Okay, right, it's lock picking. Lock picking stops at 81, and we don't put any more points in it for the rest of the game. We have enough that we can get almost every single lock unlocked. Mechanics is almost finished. We're going to be stopping that at 90. We are also done with temporal manipulation until sometime later, much later, where I begin putting more points in it because I just have nothing else to put points into. So next level, we, we begin finally taking new things. And as for feats, I want future orientation if it's available here. Reduces cooldowns of all temporal manipulation side abilities that have cooldowns by one turn and increases action point cost for those side abilities by five, providing they have an action point cost. This affects one ability that we currently have. Maybe actually we don't take it then. Can I take Uncanny Dodge? No, because we need one more point in agility, which we'll get next level, which is why we take that next level. All right, then we're going to, we are taking this. This currently affects temporal dilation, which means we can cast it one turn faster, so instead of three turn cooldown, it's a two turn cooldown, I think. This also will affect temporal contraction, which will allow us to haste ourselves more often, and we will, we will totally be using that ability to help us out quite frequently when we get it. And I think it's for sale, actually, at rail crossing so maybe we go back there and talk with the doctor since we can buy it from her in any case we're taking this future orientation taken all right and i'm playing for about 50 minutes so we can fit in a little more let's go and kill those iron heads i've been hinting at since i think there's a chance one of them is a hunter oh no they're lurkers they're two lurkers they're two lurkers but we can handle two lurkers, I hope. Oh no, I can't get rid of that fog of war! <laughs> I think some over here also gets to stay. Oh, it's so annoying. Alright, whatever. Let's keep, let's keep moving. I wonder if there were any new random encounters added, and I wonder if one of them was a train that would come down here. It probably, no, it wouldn't be, because there's no, there's no animation for a moving train to my knowledge, but it would be a fun thing to have to panic about. Okay, and this is where those lurkers are located. So, just in case we die, it looks like we have to redo a whole lot of what, we, what we've been doing. Tackled, but neither dog barked, which means both dogs are dead. Because we can set them both on fire. And just in case we run away, bravely run away. Let all my Sonic abilities come back. It says neither dog barked. That means that the two lurkers are unaware that we are here. Don't do that with that door until after you're done with this, Tim. More creature bits, more intestines. Hmm. Without traps, this doesn't really do me any good to unlock this door other than to get a tiny bit of experience points, so we'll do that later. I think we'll do the door trick here. Okay, here we go. I know 
there are at least two lurkers stealthed somewhere in that room. One of them's a hunter. We're going to throw a normal grenade down there. We hurt the hunter. We see the hunter. Can we immediately kill her? That will affect her at the end of the turn. The gunslinger's immune uh, has a fire resistance suit on. That's going to be annoying. Run, run, run. Sprint, sprint, sprint. do right now. We could use morphine, but I'll wait. And I'm hoping we don't have to use it. Hello, you two. Let's see. The hunter is taking 50 more damage. Hunter is by far the most dangerous, the more dangerous of the two. Though this guy, if he has a 44 in crits, we're 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 taking a huge hit even with our shield activated. It is a different type of weapon. S sounds like a probably a 7.62, so nowhere near as scary. Unfortunately, he took away our movement points because he did get through our shield with kneecap shot. So we had to kind of crawl to him. Remember that at close range, pistols now ev uh, avoid a good amount of your evasion. Shield's gone. Taking hits. We can't set him on fire. So, fireball and what you call her off won't help us. Hello, sir. How are you doing? So, let's... So, he's not going to run. He's just going to stand right there. Let's use some morphine to help us here. Drugably, we should not have used. I want to recurrence that. med for distortion. Did he heal already? He must have. Because he's not healing now. So that really works out for us. We didn't need to use that one spell. Uh, we need to heal ourselves before morphine kicks in. Good. And we did it. We'll take all their stuff, and we'll see if any, any of it's any good. The smolder remains of the hunter. No, I can tell already that's not good armor. Or generally won't be. Footlocker. 80 lockpicking. Nice. We should have that. 100, yeah. That's what we can disable. Oh! Tychrome bars! And quality 82 Tychrome bars. We also find stasis here. Wow! That's very, very nice. I never know where the... Here we go. Mentors are. I don't ever use stasis. Which is... Which I know it was gonna, uh, is gonna be screaming at me about. <laughs> I don't use it because I'm not very good at figuring out how to use it. I don't understand when the best time is to use the ability. But cast on a friend or foe, it basically immobilizes them. And I think all the buffs on them also don't tick down. I think is the way that works. You can use it on yourself to protect yourself fully from damage for a while while you let while you allow a great deal of other status effects on enemies to tick down. Or you use it on an enemy to just stack tons of uh, temporal like uh, distortion on, on them. But I'm not, I'm not good at using it, nor describing it apparently. Oh, hold on. There's a medical locker you didn't search, Tim. 
With two advanced health hypos, what would we be up to for those? 15? We can probably start selling our normal health hypos now. At uh, all the medical institutions we visit. Oh, I want to look at all the stuff. Okay, so let's look at all the stuff and we'll call the session. So, put anything I don't want in the refrigerator. Don't need bolts. Uh... Hold on to the rest of that. What do we got over here? We don't want that. This is better, I th Ow. This is better than the bars I think I used to make our current spear. So this will make us, I think, a higher quality one. How about that? So we will want a spear shaft. We will worm our way over to Southgate Station from here in the next episode. We have enough dynamite to blow open the cave in here and reach it from this side. So that's what we'll do. Yeah, we have one stick of dynamite with us, which is enough. We don't want any of this with us. Have flashlights, now let's equip them. So the boots are pig boots. We don't need those. A normal belt. <laughs> we'll just fender it. <coughs> Another overcoast garbage. Pneumatic tornado crossbow, worth selling. The Neil Luger is not worth keeping. It is worth breaking down, though, for bits. So we should do that. Level 14. Antithermic insulated overcoat. Same cold resistance that we have. No, I'm sorry. No, we have no cold resistance. This is electricity resistance. So I think this is probably better. Same mechanical resistance that we currently... Oh, slightly worse. By 1%, but that's okay. We get a huge amount of heat resistance added with this, and we can't be set on fire. So I think we de I think we want to wear this. Yeah, we're going to want to wear that. Alright, so some decent armor. One level higher than the armor we're currently using. A different type of armor, but we want that. When we cycle this pistol. 86. We can break this into two halves and make ourselves another advanced repair kit. Which we can use one of them on that crossbow. A waste, arguably, but we'll do it. All right, so the viewer, I think that will do do it for us at the moment. Yeah, not bad. Killed a bunch of dudes, gained a level, got some decent armor, which I'm going to want to full repair before we start wearing it. And that will, that will probably be the armor we'll be wearing for some significant time. Unless we get lucky with another group of lunatics or iron heads that has something slightly better. But I think this is probably going to be it for us for a while. Actually, no. Not necessarily. There's a uh, assassin over here somewhere. But I don't think we're ready to fight an assassin. I don't have a way to mobilize them. Which we don't care. We have psionics. They don't ever miss. Well, that's something I can consider off screen. All right, guys, so thank you guys again for watching. Hope it was fun, and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.